you're in engineering, you really need to care about your emotional and social intelligence. It's gonna help you get ahead of your peers and it's gonna help you carve your path to what you want in your career. Why do I say this? I say this because engineers typically are hyper-focused on one particular thing like technical skills to the detriment of all their other skills. So they're not typically very well-rounded. Now, when you're trying to move up in an organization, you need to be well-rounded. If you've ever had the pleasure of dealing with a manager who seems very sharp, but can communicate well, and it turns out they used to have a technical background, those are the type of people I'm trying to help you emulate here. Because having a technical background should not be a detriment or something that holds you back from getting into management or really any sort of leadership role that you're after. What you will have to do on your path to whatever end for your career you're looking for is you need to start working on your emotional and social intelligence or EQ and SQ. How are we going to do this? With emotional intelligence, you're gonna learn how to understand yourself better as well as empathize with others and have motivation long-term. And with social intelligence, you're gonna start understanding your group, your place in the group, and really the political landscape of your organization and how it functions or doesn't function. So really what you wanna do here is you wanna see the charismatic leader or whatever role that you're after right now. So what role do you wanna go be in? What do you wanna do when you grow up? Even if you're in your 50s, what do you wanna do when you grow up? That's the question that you need to ask every couple months. I think it needs to be asked every couple months just to check in with yourself. Do you wanna go be a director of software engineering? But what do you wanna do? You need to figure this out and it doesn't have to be written in stone or blood. You just basically need to go see what you wanna do. I see this thing over here. That looks pretty interesting. Let's go try that. All right, cool. So where is that person? How did they get there? What steps did they take? And how can you start taking those steps now? I honestly think when it comes to engineering, the only way to figure out if you're gonna like something is by doing it. So what sort of things in that role can you do now to see if you're going to like it? So are you an individual contributor that does coding and you wanna go do hardware things? Well, have you ever done any hardware things? Because they're a lot different. So if you haven't done a lot of hardware things and you think I wanna go be a director of hardware engineering, why do you want that? What's making you think that you want that? Is it the person in that seat that you wanna emulate or is it actually the job? Because there's another question that you need to be asking as well. Is that role that you're after really after the person in the role? So you're trying to emulate that person instead of trying to get to that seat and do that job. These are questions you need to ask yourself and I don't have any silver bullets for you, but I'm giving you the tools to make your own silver bullets here, but you have to choose to take them. So you gotta go and work on your emotional and social intelligence and carve your own path. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.